earlier in the week, I had the golden touch. I'm just praying today that I don't get the golden dust. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on YouTube? RGL coming back at you with a brand new release. And today, we have 2023 Topps Gilded Collection. This one is pricey, coming in at around $650 for just five cards. You have a gambling problem. Two autographs per box. Before we get into that though, uh, my Topps lit, or uh, my uh, Topps hats, whatever, I, I forgot, the Fanatics hats or whatever you wanna call them, did arrive and I do have four of the exclusive Topps Chrome Mitchell and Ness packs. Um, before we get into it, let's do a hat review, actually. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, I like the design, so I grabbed two of the Mariners and then the two Giants ones. I like that it has the Cosmic Chrome on the back. Here's where they got it wrong. Give me the MLB logo. I don't want this Mitchell and Ness logo. Also, the hats don't fit true to size. I'm a 7 and 3 eighths, and, uh, this one is a little tight. So, um, that is my review. Uh, as of right now, we'll say about a 6.5 out of 10. But uh, we'll open the packs, and obviously that could raise it up to uh, 10 out of 10, depending on what is in the packs. Because uh, let's be honest, most of us who bought the hats, we bought them for the cards. These are reselling on eBay for 50 bucks. So if you bought a hat, you can essentially get a hat for free. I think they're still 50 bucks. Uh, you could get a hat for free, basically, if you wanted to do that and just sell your packs. But we're DGens. We're doing uh, we're doing gilded today. So we got to make a little money back before we get into the, the main rip. Let's see if we can find any uh, find any of the autos or any of the Mitchell and Ness exclusives. Uh, we are going to kick off with Garrett Cole. This might be. Uh, that is going to be a Jordan Walker. I believe that is one of the Mitchell and Ness exclusives. And uh, Cody Bellinger as well. Uh, from is that, plat is that just Platinum Anniversary or is that... It is stamp 2023 so i believe that's like a 2023 platinum anniversary with a 52 design on it uh jordan walker rookie you can hit color and you can hit autos out of these so that is what we are what we are hoping for uh, that's kind of cool uh but it is alex bregman who i'm not a fan of as you guys know uh go phillies i guess with the remaining teams if i if my mariners aren't in i guess i'm going for the phillies because they're i like bryce harper and they're the last team standing that i can I like, I like Arizona too, but I, I'd rather see Harper get one. Uh, Boba Shett and also Juan Soto right there. No color yet. It's okay. If we get dusted on these packs, it's okay. I just don't want to get dusted right here. Going to be a, a Joey Votto. Is this a final year of Votto? I think it is. Uh, Jose Ramirez. And that is the, is that like 2009 Tops design? That's, that's an older design. 83 and uh, yeah 83 and then they brought that one back in 2009 i think that they brought that one back in 2009 too for maybe heritage i can't remember why don't i don't know why i just associate associated that design with uh 2009 and our final pack i don't know if we're gonna have any autos or anything Bo Bichette, jazz chisholm and uh vladimir guerrero what am i remember i know there's a lince gum it might be from like 2008 archives honestly i know there's a lince gum on this design though um all right well, we got dusted there. Hopefully, we don't get dusted here. This is the second year of Topps Gilded Collection. These are now for last year, well north of $900. Of course, that is the Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt Jr. rookie year. And uh, they've made a few changes this year. Cut autographs, which uh, are coming back from last year. And then I think they've added a couple additional things. Platinum 101s, or, uh, platinum 101s and Super Fractor 101s are in. Of course, we are... Hunting for Yoshida, Corbin Carroll, so the 2023 rookie class. And uh, yeah, this one, I'm going to be honest, I don't like the price point. I do wish this was under $500. Uh, asking to pay, you know, five cards, $650, bucks, uh, $130 a card is a bit much, especially when three of them are going to be base cards. Everything is numbered, so that is a positive. But uh, one of them is a framed autograph. And those were traditionally found in gold label, which no longer exists. Last year was the last year of gold label. I was not a fan of that product. So to put it, put a framed autograph in an even more high-end set, uh, kind of reminds you of Transcendent a little bit, which is $20,000 a box and you get a whole complete set of framed autos. But uh, for me, the drawing point of this is just the, the golden 
touch, if you will. It's gilded. Everything is drenched in gold. It's mine, you hear me? I got it out of the cave. It belongs to me. Keep your greedy hands away. And uh, the cards look incredible. The chrome cards look incredible. But the framed relic for me, or the framed auto for me, just doesn't do it. So $650 a box. It's a pretty big degen right here. Um, I was on a roll earlier this week, and uh, we're going to give it all back right now. It's like when you, you know, go red, then black, and you win a couple uh, roulette spins playing red, black, or first 12, second 12. And then you spin one too many, and you let it all ride, and then it comes up green. Uh, so we're looking for gold today. We're not looking for, uh, I guess we're looking for green or gold. <laughs> all right. Two packs should be inside. We have our four chrome cards and then our uh, framed relic as well. Or framed auto. I don't know why I keep calling it a framed relic. And uh, we will save that one for last. Traditionally, the better auto is in here. Last year, I don't recall very many rookies being on the gold frame. I believe it was almost all uh, all like legends. We hit some cool ones on our breaks. I know we hit a Randy Johnson to like 10. But more often than not, I believe we saw like a, a non-desirable vet more often than not. These these are going to be awesome looking. I'm excited to rip this one. Just don't dust me. Just don't dust me. Just show us a really nice hit right on top. Uh, that is a Mariner. Hey, I'll, I'll take a Mariner. And uh, we have a bonus card. This, this happened last year, too. I'll take a Mariner. That is going to be Luis Castillo on the gold mini diamond. I'm trying to do the little peek. I think I see a wave. This is my first time with the product. I think I see a gold wave. Uh, and then our autos should be in the back. We might have a second auto. Last year, there were several boxes that we opened that did have three autos. So Luis Castillo is going to be our first card out. And that is going to be... Where's the numbering on that one? Hard to see the numbering on that one. I believe it's down there. 46 of 50 on the Luis Castillo. Uh, next out... Ooh, Hank Aaron to 75. And that, I believe that is a change from last year. Last year, the number to 75 was just like a standard flat gold, like a matte gold, actually. And uh, so they've changed it. They've kind of more made it look like almost like a card that you would expect to find out of Topps Chrome Hobby. And I don't know if I like that change. I kind of wish they would have stayed with that, that matte, which we might see that later on in the box. Uh, and then next up, this almost looks like a black gold. San Diego? Is that San Diego? Our auto, 47 of 50, Iggy Rosario. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, do we have another auto? We do have another auto, though. Okay, so we did get a second auto. Our first one is Iggy Rosario. Not the Padre you were looking for. Let's go to the back. Uh, O'Neal Cruz, going to be numbered to 99. And again, more just on a standard. I mean, obviously, it's not. It's top scrum, but it's not top scrum, you know. Um, but it looks more, you know, the, the finish on the card itself is more refractorish. Last year they were more matte. I don't know. I, I almost don't like that change. I, I liked last year how they were so unique. They just had a very unique matte finish to them. This year they have a more chromium finish. They still feel kind of matte though, so they don't exactly feel like a top scrum card. 299 right there. Uh, let's leave these up before we uh, sweat out this second auto. And then we have our framed auto as well. But um, as of right now, I mean, the O'Neill Crew is probably like a $15, $20 card. And again, I'm just speculating brand new product, no comps on any of this stuff. But if I had to go based off of last year, I mean, probably like a $10 card, $15, $20 card, and maybe a $25 card. So we are, I don't know what the Iggy's worth, but we need to, we need to find a big card is what I'm saying. Kansas City Royals, that's Bobby Witt, second year. I would not be sad. It's not, though. It's Michael Massey to 99. All in all, I'd say that treasure's worth about $14. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, boy. Yikes. We got a bonus auto. And uh, I don't know if both of these autos even add up to one auto that I'd actually won. Oh, boy. Well, it's come down to the framed relic. Or the framed auto. Keep calling it the framed relic. It's going to come down to the framed auto in this one. This is going to be a short video. And short and dusty. But at least it's gold dust, right? At least it's gold dust. Okay, final card of the day. Man, we're going to have to hit it out of the park. I'm talking like platinum or to 10. Hall of Famer and not like one of the guys that they put in every set like Ryan Sandberg. Or... I'm going to need a good one. I'm going to need a very good one. Uh, CC Sabathia to 50. Now, I'm going to say that's probably not... Of all the, if you would have told me, well, your frame card's going to be a Yankee, I'm going to be like, okay, good. Is it going to be Jeter? Is it going to be Mo? It's going to be Mr. Captain Crunch himself, CC Sabathia. 
a disaster. Okay, we're gonna leave it. Right I watch it with these two lazy repaired eyes. Oh boy, we 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 are back in. We're back in Dustville, everybody. I know Monday and Tuesday was very very fun getting those nice hits, but we are back in Dustyville today. CC Sabathia is our auto to 50. We had three autos in the box: Iggy Rosario, Michael Massey, also. And then uh, Luis Castillo, PC piece to remember the video by O'Neal Cruz and uh, Hank Aaron, which was probably my favorite card of the day, honestly. But uh, yeah, this one, like I said, high risk, high reward. Um, more often than not, this is probably going to be your average box. Of course, the big hits are going to be out there. The Yoshidas of the Sengas, the Corbin Carrolls, uh, the uh, Adley Rushmans, they are all in this set. Those cards will sell for an absolute premium. But uh, the cards I pulled today, likely, likely not. So um, high risk, high reward, and we struck out today. But that is how it goes in the hobby. They don't always send me the influencer boxes. Got a couple earlier this week, but uh, we're right back in the L column today. Overall, though, I mean, it's a beautiful product. You just know what you're getting into if you decide to rip one of these personally. There or do a personal. They're 650 bucks uh, for five cards. 130 dollars a card. Obviously, there are going to be some very high-end cards and some cut autographs, some one-on-ones, and uh, obviously all the top rookie autos are going to do very well. But if you miss, yeah, you're taking an 80% loss. That is going to do it for me. I'm going to go, I don't know, take this hat off. Did me no favors today, lids. We'll catch you next time on Down the Road.